Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the second video on how to do Nexus API automation using Python. In the first video, we have seen how to install Nexus 9000V into EVNG, then how to enable API and write a basic Python script to connect to the device and get the show hardware output. And here we are getting output in a JSON format and we are passing some of the information here like we are getting the version string and file name image file name let me run this script so here this is the total output the response data and this we are filtering so here in this video we will be focusing on what is json rpc and what are the command types and what are the error actions supported so you can use json rpc for sending the nexus cli commands and we can see two more methods here nx api rest dme dme stands for data management engine data management engine will have complete state of the switch which holds configuration operational state and other statistics in the backend dme will be talking to other components and processes which are running in the switch so this we will look later and we have even restconf yang model so for exploring that we'll be using cisco's yang suite that also will be part of another video now here we will look into nx api cli json rpc so this is documentation about json rpc rpc stands for remote procedure call rpc is nothing but a server to client communication protocol so here client will be requesting to server for some data server will process the request and return the data so in json rpc we will be passing the data in a json format and we have even xml rpc in case of xml we will be passing the entire data in xml format so here you can see cisco nexus supports json rpc and these are cisco's standard data formats like json and xml and here if you see the protocol standards so the, here you can see we need to give the json rpc with version number 2.0 and we need to add some method parameters and id and response also is going to contain json rpc result error and id and here if i select json rpc and cli and if I give the show, show version command here, you can see JSON RPC version 2.0 method is CLI. This again depends on the device type, it will vary. Then parameters, so we are passing show version, version 1 and ID. If you compare it with this, it will be same. In addition to that, we can see some of the error codes. We will look into that as well like when you don't have proper command or when you are getting some kind of error from the device we'll be getting some equivalent error codes now here if you look into the command types we can see cli cli can be used for sending the configuration or sending the show command and cli ascii is going to return the entire configuration output con not configuration output the show command output in a plain text format this will be useful when you already have some regex passing or some passing logic written and if you're using cli you can replace that with this api and cli array is going to return the data in json format it will be same like cli now first we'll look into cli ascii and I'll execute show version command. You can see the request format. So entire data we are receiving in a text format here. Now if you want to decode it, let me take copy of this. We'll write a Python script here. 02 JSON RPC CLI ASCII and I'll copy this content 
paste it here and we can copy and paste this particular payload I can go to Python 3 take copy of this particular payload and paste it here it was method CLI so now it is CLI ASCII now first we will try to print the response so we are receiving the complete output and you can see here we have slash in everywhere and if you see the structure it is like under result we have a message key now to get that data print response and we'll give result and under that message I'll comment the previous output so here now we are getting the exact show version output if you replace with any other command we'll be getting it in same format and all the show commands you can explore from command reference and in this way you can get the output in a plain text format that is CLA ASCII and if you use CLA array the only thing we need to change is this I'll copy this and we can just replace this now here instead of this we can print response so we are getting entire output in a json format I'll do a pprint now from here we can parse any of the configuration data the structure is going to be same as what we have seen here so here also we should be able to see the show version command now that is CLI array now we will look into CLI CLI we can use for sending configuration or show command for example if I send show version using CLI you can see here now method is CLI I'll send it so I'm getting the data in JSON format and if I want to send any configuration I can send that as well I already have a configuration here I'll be showing this configuration with multiple options like multiple error actions here we have stop on error continue on error rollback on error the default action is going to be stop on error so I'll put this config and you can see it is automatically framing the config below and before configuring it we will verify the switch config so e1 slash 2 I am going to configure so I will give show run interface e1 slash 2 so currently we don't have any config available so let me try sending this config so now so result is null let us verify the config now now this has pushed all this configuration to the device but here the default action is stop on error so I will try adding some error in the config I'll add triple A here 
but reply is not available within the interface this command it is an invalid command so before sending the config we will delete the previous config default interface ethernet 1 slash 2 now we don't have any config so let me try sending it so this will stop the command execution if we find any error okay now we are getting a message saying that invalid command for the third command triple a and after that it says command not ran due to previous failure so these two commands are not executed but these two got executed now if you see the error code 32602 you can go to json rpc documentation invalid method parameter and we have one more error here it is 32008 so not enough permission to op operate contract so that means there is some error and now if we verify the config so this has pushed only one line this line after that it failed so that is stop on error now if we give continue on error so before pushing the config let us just remove the config we'll try sending the config now see for the line 4 and 5 we are getting null only for line 3 we are getting 32602 and 1 and 2 also successful now if we verify the config this has pushed all the config except this triple a which is an invalid command now we will see rollback on error if it is rollback on error it will roll back the entire configuration and here also you can see the configuration method it is like rollback on error if we change this to continue on error this will change to continue on error so we'll try to execute this from even python script now i'll change to rollback on error and i'll erase the config from the interface now we'll try running this Okay, you can see here again we are getting 32008 and let us verify the config in the device now we don't have any config because it rolled back the configuration to the previous state so th these are the options available in json rpc and cla mode we'll be using for sending the config or sending the show command CLA ASCII will be for plain text and array for getting the output in a structured format. CLA array and CLA will be giving almost same data. Now we will look into Python script. So first we will select stop on error. We can go to Python and copy the payload. It will be same. So here this I will replace and this will have stop on error. Currently we don't have any config in the device so we will try executing it.
and here what we'll do instead of adding this as json we will put here output equal to response dot json and we will print output because we'll try to get more information from this response if you want to get the response dot status code we can get it response dot status code we'll try getting even the status code of this particular request so let us try running this so here you can see I'm getting 500 error from the device the status code because of this line I'm getting 500 and ID 1 and 2 was successful and 3 is having 32602 and these two did not get executed in the device you can see here and now we will try continue on error so only thing what we need to do is we need to replace this with continue on error so I will press control R in Python PyCharm and I'll give stop and in five places it is matching so I'll give continue on error and I'll delete the config I'll give replace all now let us try running this now error code has changed to 400 but all the commands got executed except triple A and so now this got executed I'll remove the config again and this time we will replace continue on error with rollback So let us search for continue on error yeah this has replaced all the continue on error with rollback on error so we'll try running this So this time only 1 and 2 got executed and after that this roll back the config and error code what we are getting is 500. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand what is JSON RPC and how to initiate configuration and what are the configuration options available here in the device the command type and error actions thanks for watching see you in the next video